Hello everyone and welcome to our lesson on user input in that. My name is Laxon Muntali. In this video, we'll be discussing how to capture user input in that and how to use it in your applications. The first step is to, uh, the first step we have to import the DAT uh, IO library. So we just say import, okay, DAT. I O. Okay, then we we'll have to make sure that we end with there. Uh, semicolon there. Next, we'll create a variable to store the user input. The variable, uh, this variable should be of the type string and should be called user input. So what we're gonna do actually, uh, instead of user input, actually I'm gonna call it name. <clears throat> so let's uh, declare our main function so that we can be running, so that we can run. Uh, that code so here first of all we want to tell the user they are supposed to enter something so we have we, we are going to print something on the uh print something on the screen so that you can tell the user to enter enter their name so enter your name so here we can do this so like this <coughs> so after this line is printed we want now to whatever the user is going to enter we want to, to store it in a variable called name. So string, the name, is equal to two. Then now, the, the, I would say the function that we're gonna use to, to get the, the variables, or to get the, what the, the value from the user. First of all, it's stdn, so that's standard in input. Then read line sync. So we're gonna select read, line sync like this <coughs> semicolon and we make sure that we add that uh, exclamation mark the reason why we are doing this is because the data type for this if you just hover on top it's string with a question mark so meaning that it can be no and the variable where we want to to assign the value that's going to be passed in it's just a string so us by putting this exclamation mark we are telling the the we're telling that that uh, this won't be empty. That's what's happening. So if you move on top of it, then this exclamation mark means uh, this can either be empty, it can either be no, or it can have something. But in this case, we are assigning it to something that's supposed to have something. So that's the reason why we're using the exclamation mark there. So uh, from there now, we have to make sure that we we want we want to print the value of name so that we show the user that they've entered their name so we can just say maybe hello or maybe we can just greet them we can just say maybe <coughs> uh good morning good morning then the name the variable so now for us to pass in the variable inside the string we use the dollar sign then we pass in the name of the variable like this but if you just remove the dollar sign, it won't be recognized as, uh, as, 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 as a variable. It will be treated as characters in a string. So for us to make sure that it's treated as a variable, we have to add a dollar sign in the front. So like this. So here, what's happening here is when the program runs, we're going to print this. That will ask the user to enter something. Then the user, when they enter something, whatever that's they will enter, it's going to be assigned to this variable. And now on line six here, we are printing whatever the user has entered and we are assuming that uh, they have entered uh, their name here. That's when I say good morning, then the name of the person, then that's it. So let's try to run this. <coughs> so we have to open, instead of uh, using the run, uh, the, 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 the run button here, we're gonna use the dat because this is a console program. So whatever commands that we want to enter, we have to enter them in a terminal. So we have to make sure that we use the dat, then the main, then the dot dat, like this. So what we're telling dat is that we want you to run this. That's what we're telling that. So once we enter, as you can see here, it's, it's, uh, it's telling you to enter your name, and here you can type, so like in this case, I'm gonna type my name, so Laxon Montali. Then I'm gonna press enter so that I can uh, 
I can send or I can submit the what? <coughs> the data. So like this, it's going to print here, good morning, Laxman Montali. So this is how you get uh, user data in depth. Thank you for watching.